This Mobile Geeks video is powered by Asus. Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks, and we are here with Scott from Nextbit. And this is the Robin that you see right there. So that's your uh, new cloud phone, supposedly. And they've successfully launched on Kickstarter. And these devices should be out in the beginning of next year. And yes, yeah, so Scott, why don't you just tell us about the device a bit? Sure. So this is Robin. You, you know, you mentioned it's a cloud phone. It's actually not a true cloud phone. Like you, a, tr a true cloud phone would come, I don't know, 10 years from now, like a full generation step away when there's you know ubiquitous 5G or maybe even 6G coverage. But we have baked the cloud into the operating system to unleash a couple of key features. But before I talk about that, let me talk about the industrial design. So this is Robin, the industrial de in the industrial design. Really, we wanted to create something that was provocative in terms of design, something that actually kind of struck a different chord than anything else out there in the market. You know, if you were to put the iPhone out along with every Android phone out on the table, there's some nice stuff, but nothing is really standing out today. Everything is kind of a sea of sameness out there. Everybody using the same tricks around metal um, and put a little chamfer on to make it shiny. What we wanted to do is to create a different phone where the premium nature came from kind of a different DNA. And you can see that it's basically a very square design, although it feels great in the hand. Um, we we basically really worked to kind of kind of fine tune and reduce um, reduce the kind of detailing down to its uttermost simplicity. And uh, you know, if I were to describe to you that, hey, I'm going to create a phone and make a box out of it, sounds pretty boring, right? Well, where the magic comes in is you have these soft dual front facing speakers, a little soft depression there. And then the repeated motif where we honestly treated the speakers and the front sensors and the, and the, the volume buttons. Again, you see that repeated circle motif on the, uh, on the side. And then you come to the back where we have the camera and the, the dual LED, dual tone flash. And so these sort of details really give it a fresh, very modern feel and something that really sets it apart for some, from everything else in the market. Now, in terms of experience, Basically, I would say that 90, 99% of the interaction is stock Android, but we do have made some adjustments in the launcher to really unleash the, the cloud functionality. And the way it works like this is when you log into Robin, we start synchronizing your apps and your photos to the cloud, the, the apps that you've installed and the photos that you've taken to the cloud. But we do it smartly. By default, we do that when you're on Wi-Fi and when you're plugged in. And then over time, we watch, the phone watches how you use your phone, so we understand what apps you're using and what, uh, what photos you're looking at. And in seven to eight months, when you actually start to run out of space, what we do at that moment is even if you're in airplane mode, because we've already synchronized everything to the cloud, we can actually free up some space by lifting off some apps off the phone and downsampling photos. So if you look at the launcher here, there's a couple apps that are grayed out. Those apps are actually not on the phone. Um, and we've done that because this particular person has actually run out of space. Now, if you want to use it, you just tap the icon. And now what's happening is it's restoring the application from the cloud. So we're bringing back down the APK and reinstalling the application. We're going to restore 2048 here. And what you'll see is the, app, the application icon. The color will come back in. The saturation will come back in. And once it's fully downloaded, it'll reinstall the app. Now, the magic part of this is actually when it comes down, it'll act like it's never been uninstalled. What we do is the app data and the, uh, your credentials are actually they're kept on the device when the APK is removed. And we basically hook back up those credentials to the application when it comes back down. So when you launch it, it's like it's never been removed. So if you use, let's say you haven't used Spotify in seven months and we're like, hey, you know what, maybe we need to move that off. Um, we can magically take that off and when you bring it back on, we, we connect it back in. Now. It has an adaptive algorithm to each individual users, and the way, way that works is like this. Um, if you use an app, it moves down in the queue. If you haven't used an app, of course, it'll bubble up in the queue. And then in that time when you're at a concert and you're actually trying to record a video or take a photo, and actually you're about to get that out of space message, well, instead of that, we just pick the one that's at the top of the list and we remove it off the phone. Now for photos, it's a little bit different. For photos, actually what we do is we actually downsample the full res photo because it's already up in the cloud. We downsample it on the phone and we leave behind a screen res version. So when you're in the gallery, as you're flicking through the gallery, you won't even notice anything until you zoom in on a particular photo. And if you're on Wi-Fi, we'll actually bring that photo down by default. By default. If you're actually out on the cell network, we'll say, hey, you know what? Are you sure you want to bring this down? There's going to be a data charge. Do a similar sort of question and answer on the, uh, on the applications also. So we think that based on kind of everyday usage, we'll have a pretty good handle on what's the best app, what's the app that you're least likely to open that we might want to remove. So I pull this down. You, let's say you want to get a handle of kind of what, um, 
what the phone does or what the phone storage looks like. So if I come down here to next bit storage, now you can get a picture. This is your local storage, so it's 32 gigabytes. And up here is your cloud storage. And you see I barely use my cloud storage because I haven't taken any photos on this phone. Now, one other thing that's unique on this is that we've done a little bit to the Android launcher. I mentioned that 90%, 99% of the interactions are basically stock Android, but on those, this launcher, you'll notice that there's no all apps tray. Well, the reason that is, is that we basically inverted the relationship between the all apps button and the widget space. So if you think about it, um, if you're not a widget user, actually they feel like they're basically duplicates. And so what we've done here is created a space which actually, this is your all apps tray. So it's the primary space. If you want to launch the widget panel, you just simply pinch and there's your widget panel. Now there's another way to access that. Let's say you're out and about and you're like, hey, I've got, I'm just doing everything one handed. I can long press the recents button and launch the widget panel. So it puts, puts widgets in a slightly different space um, than the way it's typically handled on Android. So a minor change, but um, for those people who don't use widgets, it's put in an area. For those people who do use widgets, it's like accessing your second panel. It's actually one button or one uh, physical interaction away. Now, the cloud function now is great. That lets you expand um, the storage on your phone. This is a 32 gigabyte phone, but you get 100 gigabytes of cloud storage. So the way to think about it is like this. When you're offline, this will look, act, and feel like a 32 gigabyte phone. When you're online, it'll look, act, and feel like a 100 gigabyte phone. In terms of the rest of the specs, it's a Snapdragon 808 processor. It's a 5.2 inch full HD screen, dual front facing speakers with dual amplifiers, five megapixel camera in the front. On the back, we have a 13 megapixel camera with phase detection autofocus, including the dual, dual LED, dual, um, dual tone flash. On the bottom here, we've got USB type C, and in combination with the USB Type-C, we have uh, Qualcomm Quick Charge. So you, when you need to top it off, you can do that very quickly. Over here, we've integrated the, the fingerprint sensor into the power button. Um, in combination with that, we've got NFC on the back, so we're ready for Android Pay if and when um, it comes to the various markets. Okay, so there's two versions of Robin. This is the mint version in the front. We have a white back housing, and this is these mint end caps. And this version here is called Midnight. So it actually looks like it's black, but in certain lights, actually in, this, in, in some lightings, it looks like it's black, but when you actually get it in really bright lighting, you can actually tell that it's a really deep blue. And that's accented by this power button, which uh, brings the mint, uh, mint over from the other phone. Now, Robin will be available in January. It's available for pre-order now, but we'll be shipping our Kickstarter units in January. We may be able to get pre-order units in by January, but if not in January, they will come in, um, they will come in February but the e-commerce store for general availability will open at the end of January.